Look at this. Sabina, look. Oh, wow. That's it's, legit. That's some legit bra. Yeah, look at that. This is where, like, you know you're getting some good nutrients. It is chicken feet. <laughs> this is amazing. Subhanallah. Sabrina, you know, the Islamic world, we talk about we can't have, uh, what do you call it, gelatin? Yeah. This is gelatin, Rina. Look, look at. Well, you mean like, yeah, it's like gelatin, yeah. Look at this side, it's shaking. Yeah, it's jello-y. jello, -y. jello -y and gelatin, and that's what the body needs, lubricant. It's like a lubricant. Yep. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to our channel. How is Ramadan going, you guys? Thank you for stopping by. Ramadan is the month of extra, extra blessings. It's a beautiful month. It's going good for us. Alhamdulillah, thank you, God. And I pray that you're all enjoying your month of Ramadan. May Allah accept our prayers our supplications, our fast, amen, ya Rabbi. As you all know, those who follow us, I love my 365 days. And this morning after I read my Quran, Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept it. This is what I pulled out of the jar and I wanted to share it with you. I had it right here so I don't forget. Allah, when I say Allah, those who are not Muslim, I'm talking about the one creator who created you, beautiful person, and all of us, the rest of us, the one creator who created all of us. So we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, even if your sins reached up to the clouds in the sky, I will forgive you. The one creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, even if your sins reached up to the clouds and the sky, I will forgive you. So I wanted to take a moment and share that with you. God is so forgiven. One of you always write the comment when I see it. And they, you say, God is good. And I reply to you, God is good all the time yes god is good alhamdulillah so anyways today i am doing a bone broth and i have made bone broth so many times but today this one is different and it's special and full of collagen what sister yasmin we've you seen you use your uh, bone broth all the time yes i you guys have seen me in the past use leftover chicken bones or leftover lamb bones or beef, whatever I can get hold of. After we eat, I like to, uh, whatever bones I have, I use my Instant Pot. You don't have to have an Instant Pot, but if you want one, I will put in the description. Also, I have few of them that helps me a lot. So, I always use my uh, Instant Pot, but if you don't have one, you can use your regular cooking pot. It's completely fine. Just do it a day that you will be home. So while it's cooking slowly in the stove, that you are home, that you are not leaving and having a fire going on. Safety first, right? Yes. So you guys have seen me make bone broths many times. And I talked about bone broth is good for the gut. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved and loved soup right so soup and also Baruch Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talked about how it's important for us to have a good gut the house of all disease is that it's in the stomach so if your stomach and your gut is not healthy there will be imbalances and a lot of health issues as well so it's important to have a good gut Having bone broth gives good digestion too, especially Ramadan time. We're eating late night, we are going to lay down, we're waking up, everything is changing. But we can support our guts so we can feel healthier. If those who are wondering, Sister Yasmin, where did you come up from You know, with this? I'm a nutrition health coach and hijama practitioner 
for the ladies. My husband is the same, but for the men too as well. But today I am using chicken feet for extra collagen. I have almost five pounds of chicken feet. It's important that we have good filtered water. I use my Berkey water, filtered water, and I will link in the description also my water machine, my Instant Pot as well. So why do we need bone broth and why can't we go to the store and buy it? We can buy it from the store. It sits in a shelf and it stays that long time, but they have to put all kind of chemicals that will preserve and it can last a long time and we don't want that. So for making your own bone broth, you are avoiding all those extra chemicals. You are avoiding extra sodium, extra salt. You can just control what you want. For me, I put any spices I want, my family that can you know enjoy it. Also, the salt, I can control it. And what do I use for bone broth? Originally, I'm from Somalia. Whenever my family cooked meat, they made sure we had some broth. Some people call it bone broth, some people call stock, vegetable stock, meat stock, whatever, however you want to call it. But in Somalia, if somebody's sick or not, you will get a little cup of broth. When mom boils the meat and gets it ready, she will take a little bit and put it into a cup. Half a cup or a little bit, you will drink it and just enjoy it because it's good for the gut. It's good for the joints also. Right now, I'm getting older. I'm in my late 40s. Alhamdulillah, with shukrila, I have to take care of me, my joints, my gut, my skin, my hair, my hormones. It has a lot of calcium. It has a lot of iron. Also, some cultures, when a mom gives birth, guess what happens? They boil some bone broth and give it to the mom so she can recover and she can feel better. So bone broth has so much benefit. If this year, Ramadan, I am cooking for our Imam at the masjid who does the taraweeh for us. So that's why I'm making this special chicken feet bone broth because people who are constantly serving us in our community, our imams, our sheikhs, you have to make sure you are feeding them good, healthy foods, good soups. Also, the bone broth helps with the gut. It moves when you are going to the bathroom, extra calcium, vitamin K, iron, the collagen, I mean, just the benefits are endless. So that's why I'm making this for my Imam. I believe most of the Ramadan, except a few days that I will not be cooking for him and his family, but the whole month I'm doing that. So Alhamdulillah, so I thought something nourishing would be good. If your husband plays soccer or any other um, activities, also, bone broth will help that calcium will build the bones and everything. I can go on and on, right? So anyways, I'm using my Instant Pot. And what I like about the Instant Pot, you can see it is stainless steel, and that's what I like about it. So let's put that there. So I have the chicken feet and what will go with that is the onions throughout the week when i chop stuff everything that's left over i put it i have some old carrots i have some celery i have fresh ginger as you can see bunch of garlic sabrina was getting rid of it i said i'll take it any skin that's from throughout throughout the week i just put it in a dish and i save it for my bone broth I have a bunch of celery underneath. Any cuts from the vegetable, I just save it. For good digestion, I will be adding cumin and fennel. It's good for our digestion and our stomach. Also, I will be using some, as you can see, this amazing, amazing
this amazing turmeric and when you use turmeric make sure you use black pepper curcumin it's they both work together wherever you use turmeric make sure it helps inflammation make sure you use black pepper as you can see i have a deficiency of vanadium and to heal myself i use black pepper as well i'll be using some pink salt that's what i have at home and i'll just throw a bay leaf in there since i have that too and the most important thing we will need is vinegar organic good old organic vinegar is great it will pull all the nutrients from the bones and that's what we're looking for and then we will need some water that's it let's add everything together so let's put the bones the feet i should say I'm sure some of you are wondering, uh, these feet, are they from my chickens? No, actually this was given to me as a gift. And it's important really, if, if you can really pay attention to think about where is your meat coming from. I am originally from Somalia, but I am here in the States. Some of our meats comes from all the way Australia. All the way Australia, how many hours of traveling? Also, is that meat grass fed? I know we focus on halal, but is the meat also taken care of? Is your meat, does it, what did they do to that animal? Did they give shots? Did they give antibiotics? What is it? Take a moment and think about what you are feeding yourself and your family. This is important that we focus on our meat because if it has chemicals and all kind of other things and antibiotics and, and we're eating that, what's happening to our body, right? Let's put this away and wash hands. Okay, after washing hands, Let's put everything together. The veggies. Just put everything in there. Cumin and fennel. Turmeric will do. A couple of spoons. I love turmeric because it removes inflammation. Let's be good to the black pepper. Sister Yasmin needs to build her vanadium. I like to add mine with salt because sometimes we like to drink bone broth, so I, want, I don't want to put extra salt. And when I'm cooking, I don't add too much salt because when I'm using bone broth, it already has salt. So be careful on that too. Two big tablespoons of vinegar. Apple cider vinegar with a mother would be great. There we go. Um, water will do if you have a Quran teacher for yourself for your children it's good to share this I'm putting about mm, maybe six cups to eight cups of water and I'm put the bay leaf in there too So I just go ahead and put a slow cook there. I'm just gonna let that simmer 20 hours and I'll see you after 20 hours, right? While that is cooking, I wanna touch on just a little bit about where we will be storing our bone broth. Glass jars must look in your area goods look secondhand store look any store 
If you can get hold of glass jars are very important for storing food, leftovers and everything to you. Because if you decide to use hot food you pour it into a plastic jar, it affects our well-being, our hormones, moms who are running the house, please be careful. Sometimes I know it can get expensive, but if you save up and cut corners and get some glass jars, they go a long ways and they will not affect the plastic usage. Lessen it in your house. If you lessen the plastic usage, it will help you, your hormones, and your family. So try to get hold of glass jars. I use glass jars for everything. Smoothies, bone broth. I also use, what else do I use? I put granola, I put honey in there. I put cashew milk, oat milk, anything. I have few of them that I purchased one time and I reuse it and I reuse it and I reuse them. Please pay attention, especially yourself, your children. I do my best to get rid of plastic containers. And those who use microwave, we don't use our house microwave. The day we decided, my husband and I, not to use microwave, it broke. So about four years now, we haven't used the microwave. If we want to warm up our food, we put in a dish and put it into the oven or warm up our rice left over on top of the stove. Microwaves with plastic dish and warming up things are not best health either so now since that's cooking if you decide to do this make sure your glass jars are ready for you i just wanted to share that i have a few different uh, glass jars so most of it i probably will be using this and put it into the fridge and use it throughout the week sister yasmin what do we use for bone broth when you are cooking rice you can use instead of water, you can put half water and half uh, bone broth. Otherwise, you can use all of it bone broth. It's going to be delicious. Arthritis and all of that and joint beans, everything, it helps. I love talking about it. Bone broth, I see you guys can see, I get excited. Also, if I'm cooking quinoa, if I'm cooking rice, if I'm cooking any protein, chicken, meat, whatever, you just, instead of water, you just put it into the uh, bone broth and it's gonna go so well for your health and the flavor and everything. Also, if you have an old, older mom who's living with you, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, those people really need these bone broths. It, it will help because the joints and everything, the movements, they will tell you my elbow hurts, my shoulders, I can't move. It's like a lubricant and the collagen and the gelatin islamically we don't eat gelatin but we can get gelatin from bone broth it's important that we have gelatin in our body it's like your car it needs oil if you don't have that oil your car will complain and will break down same thing in our body we need halal healthy gelatin and where do we get it from bone broth yes so you can drink it a cup with your food I mean, the benefits are endless. So now I will see you straining the bone broth after 20 hours. It takes a long time, but if you wanna just boil it in the stove, it's fine. You can just make sure you are home that day. For me, I can go to work, I can go outside, feed the animals, do whatever I want while I have the instant pot. So I'll see you guys in 20 hours, inshallah. After 20 hours, here it is. Bismillah. This is pure gold. Look at that beautiful color. You can drink it right away if you are done fasting. Look at all that gold, it's gonna become nice and jello, like gelatin. It's halal gelatin, mashallah.
all these chicken feet is gonna go to the dogs outside dogs as we have farmers and we have dogs that watch our chickens and inshallah ducks <laughs> Make sure you let it cool down, just to cover in it for now so nothing goes in. This is about half a gallon. Half a gallon and 32 ounce. Look at all that turmeric. Cool completely and then put it in the fridge and then we will see what happens to it. So here is the bone broth after putting it in the fridge overnight. And as you can see, I can just put it down and nothing comes out because it's all jelly. It's became like jello. So the 32 ounce one, we already used it cooking. And I want to show you, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Do you see that rubbery? That's what's our gut needs. SubhanAllah, it looks beautiful. It's like a lubricant. That's what I have been talking about. It is all jello, jelly, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, as you can see. Full of nutrition. So if you are new to me, please subscribe. More videos to come, inshallah. And I will see you guys next time. And please give the videos thumbs up up and take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.